The Blackfoot communities, Bigani and Kainai nations, run along the eastern slope of the Rockies. This is near the proposed site for the Grassy Mountain coal mine. All Treaty 7 First Nations have written letters of support for the project, but Bikani members like Adam North Pagan are still working to educate residents with virtual meetings. Now that this project has kind of moved itself along, um, you know, there's nation members, including myself, that are really concerned about it. And, uh, you know, and I think it's time to kind of put the brakes on and kind of step back and kind of look at the, uh, you know, uh, look at the big picture. The project by Australian-owned Banga Mining is a proposed steel-making coal mine that will be developed on a previous mining area. It's projected to produce around 93 million tonnes of coal over its 23-year lifespan. It's supposed to provide hundreds of jobs and bring in economic benefits, but thousands, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, have formed groups in efforts to stop the mine to prevent environmental damage. This Facebook group has grown to have over 24,000 members. This is something that has not happened in Alberta. Um, we are always at odds. And so I'm really hoping that maybe this is an educational opportunity for the general Albertan to learn about what these lands mean. Latasha Kafrobe of the Kainai Nation created the Nitsitipi Water Protectors Group. She calls the mine an attack on tradition, culture, and livelihood. These mountains as a whole hold the stories of, of how our people came to be, how we, you know, came to steward and, and, um, and occupy these areas of land. There's so many things at risk here. When the Bigani Chief and Council wrote a letter of support for the mine in 2019, North Pagan says community members were left in the dark. We didn't really have too much uh, information on the, on the detail of the, uh, of the Grassy Mountain Coal Mining Project that's within our territory. Fast forward to 2021, Chief Stanley Greyer of Bikani reiterated his support in another statement. The only individuals that can and should speak on behalf of the Bikani Nation on all matters related to our lands is myself, the chief, along with my council. He also wrote, Bigani Nation fully endorses the Grassy Mountain Initiative. On Bigani, strong winds are always blowing. North Pagan says one major concern among residents is the toxins that could be blown into the community. Even though I'm all for economic benefits, but there's also a flip side to the coin. And we need to really balance that off with the, uh, you know, being able to protect the environment. APTN has reached out to Bigani Chief and Council for a comment. We are unable to reach them. The Grassy Mountain coal mine is currently being reviewed by provincial and federal regulators. If it's approved, construction for the project will begin in late 2021 with coal shipments in 2023. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Calgary.